20 million dollars, 20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly first class both ways, both ways. see the world when I want to, when I want shopping sprees when I want to, when I investments want to. with interest a show do, that'll do, five thousand dollars on the hotel stay. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, look who we have here today. Hey guys. My wife, Mrs. Siki, the one and only, the chef of the house, she's back. Bro. Huh? Bro. Around the world. <laughs> I did not go around the world, y'all. Tell us where you went, and thank you for coming back. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed the life, you know, the time alone, the separation, you know, it was good. But uh, I did miss you. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Guys, as you may or may not know, I was on um, a little getaway, a little girl's trip to Costa Rica. Basically, she abandoned me, but it's cool. It's cool, you know? I, got, I handle it. I survived. And you didn't burn the house down. That's right. So you guys know it. There's that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So... Being my first official sit down since I've been back from Costa Rica, I thought I'd bring a little Costa Rica back with me. <laughs> so, what I have here is a Costa Rican style roast chicken. Mm, nice, nice. This is roasted in a pan, um, and it's a whole chicken that's been spatchcocked. That's I know. Like what? <laughs> Spatchcock means you basically like butterfly the chicken. You open okay, for after hours. What? <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> you basically cut the chicken up the back. Yeah. You know, um, take out the backbone yeah. and just open it out. So, um, so anything the only thing missing is the head, right here. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so we've got that here, and then here on the side, we have gallo pinto. Gallo Pinto. Gallo Pinto is a uh, Costa Rican rice. Um, it's typically had for breakfast, actually. Mm. So they're like a, a typical classical, you know, classic Costa Rican breakfast would be like Gallo Pinto, either a fried or scrambled egg, right. corn tortilla. And chicken. <laughs> no, platanos. <laughs> platanos. Um, yeah, and maybe sausage yeah. on the side if you wanted, or bacon. But they pretty much usually have this for breakfast. There are restaurants you'll go and you'll see it on the regular menu at dinner time and lunch time. But yeah, you can't go to Costa Rica and not have gallo pinto. So. Sounds great. Let's take it before it gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking too much. You go ahead. You go ahead. Let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. So I made it from scratch. We have a couple of sauces here. This to... This, oh my God, I went to a restaurant and I, I'm like, usually I don't do Tabasco. I'm like, Tabasco, like really it has no heat at all. So I saw this on the table and I'm like, okay, let me try this hot sauce, guys. It's very different from Tabasco you try here. This is in not the your regular Tabasco. No. It tastes it very is, good. It's very flavorful. So you can see it's almost halfway done. Yeah, it's spicy. It, it's great. We've, I got another one. I wish I had actually bought more. <laughs> I only bought these tiny two bottles, but yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have other sauces here. This one's almost done. Yeah, right? we don't need to show them those sauces. Another one. Yeah. So, yeah, go ahead and try the rice. No, I want you to try it before you put the hot sauce on it. Oh. Just try it the way it is, the oh, rice. Right. The rice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Gaia Pinto. So, I made this myself. Um, looked up the recipe for it. And there's a specific sauce that you got to use. It's a Lozano Salsa sauce. Oh, wow. There's lots of flavor. Very flavorful. Lots of flavor. The first time my sister and I and my, my friend had it, we were like, whoa, flavor bomb. Mm. And the key ingredient is that sauce, which I had to bring back with me. Wow. Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. Flavor plus flavor equals boom <laughs> in your face. Yeah, so you're having a little taste it's of like Costa Rica. It's like a your mouth. Wow. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Love it. It's hot as heck. Mm. And they usually serve their meals with, um, oh, that's a lot of hot sauce. Can you handle all that? What? This is Ziggy. <laughs> Ziggy can handle heat. Okay. Um, yeah, usually most of their meals is served with, you know, like, you can smell it too. Some avocado. 
and usually fried ripe plantains and stuff like that. So guys, did y'all miss me? How was it seeing Ziggy's face? Did he keep y'all entertained? <coughs> mm -hmm. Sure did. That spice you in your throat, huh? <laughs> guys, I entertain you guys or what? I entertained you, right? Hopefully. She ain't go away more often. I got you guys. Mm -mm. I saw the live that you did. Mm -hmm. That was a good live. Guys, thank you so much for showing up. Yes, yes, thank you. To support him in that live. I was a bit nervous, but it went good. I did pop in. Yes, she sneaked in there. Yes, I sneaked in. All the way from Costa Rica. Hey, whoa, hold up. I know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was really nice having a little getaway. You know? Mm. Guys. She likes getting, you know, get, doing getaways, you know, getting away from me. Not because I'm bad, but you know, it is beneficial for the relationship. You know, separation. When you come back, mm, it's so much stronger. <laughs> I mean, what's that saying? Um, Something about... Bond, distance or uh -huh. something makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, distance brings you brings you more together, more stronger. Yeah, it's good for relationship. Like y'all don't have to do everything together, you know. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I said that with the pandemic, kind of, um, with the couple being at home all the time, started just, you know got them to more fighting and you know it wasn't yeah. going well. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm telling you, separation is good. Yeah. But a little separation is good. Like, we don't like being apart for, like, more than a week. <laughs> I'll say five minutes. Five minutes? <laughs> What's the longest, would you say, we've been apart? Longest? Uh-huh. I think it was when you went to Rome. No? No, that was a short trip. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. My ghost would probably be, like, ten days. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That sounds, how was your trip? It was good. Besides the food, I mean, what else <laughs> did you do? How well, did it go? What was you Guys, experience? I hate to tell you this. I, I didn't get to vlog much. Hey, what? Yeah. I really didn't vlog a lot. We're all waiting for that. I wanted to really... Okay, so the purpose of this trip is that it's a girl's trip. It was myself, my sister... My best friend, my niece Kelsey, which you guys all know, and her best <coughs> friend. Be careful. <laughs> so, hey, this is so tender, the bone just yeah. came out. Um, this is basically a celebration trip of Kelsey's graduation. Mm -hmm. She had just turned 18, um, July 18. I'm um, July 11, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she turned 18. Her and her best friend graduated from high school. Huge accomplishment. They wanted to treat themselves to a trip. They saved up their little coins and everything. But, you know, two young girls traveling alone, they wanted to have, you know, like some adult supervision with them. Mm -hmm. So my sister and I went and my friend Christina came along. And, you know, being, it's a girl's trip. We wanted to celebrate the... The, the teens, spend time with them, you know, bond, relax. We really didn't have a lot of activities and stuff planned. You know, um, we just, the plan was just to go. And chill. And chill. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't want to get anyone on camera who didn't want to be on camera. True. And, you know, have a camera in their face and stuff like that when it's supposed to be just a chill girl's trip. Mm -hmm. So that's the main reason I really didn't vlog Makes sense. a lot. I'll drop a couple of pictures here in this video so that um, you guys can see. Makes such a sense. We rented an Airbnb, beautiful Airbnb. Um, Airbnb is still not my thing, but you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what the girls wanted. It's their trip, so I went ahead with it. Um, it's not my thing either. But it was nice, it was wonderful. Um, we had our own private pool. We spent several hours by the pool. I'll, as I said, I'll put some pictures in. This chicken's really good. 
thank really you. Really flavorful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Spent lots of hours by the pool. <laughs> um, where we stayed was like basically in the jungle. Um, I don't have a tam because your pool was surrounded by trees. Mm -hmm. So there's not much sun coming in. And, um, but because it's in the jungle, we saw, you know, like lots of iguanas and lizards and stuff like that were right by the pool. Any monkeys, tigers, bears? No, no monkeys, tigers, and bears. <laughs> you ain't in the jungle if you don't see them. You wouldn't see them. But, um, yeah, we, we drank. Legal drinking age in Costa Rica is 18. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. That means the girls drank? Mm-hmm, they <laughs> did drink a little. They didn't go overboard. And we played games, you know, um, trivia, stuff like that. Listen to music, dance. We just had a good old girls time, basically. Um, I would say like the only real adventure stuff, well, not really adventure, but activities that we did was we went on a coffee plantation tour um, although I'm more of a tea drinker, mm -hmm. for some reason, I find coffee plantation tours to be, um, very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we did that. And it tastes really good. She brought some home. Yeah. I brought back really some good. Costa Rican coffee. Um, the place that we went to, and again, I'm going to, as I'm talking about these stories, I'll put pictures, the few pictures that I actually took of the places I went to. Um... Mm -hmm. Went to a beautiful coffee plantation, uh, did a tour of the place, saw how they produced the coffee, how they made it, and all of that. And usually, you all know coffee is made from the, the coffee bean. It's mm -hmm. like a, a berry. And usually, they take off the outer part of it, and it's just the bean that's on the inside that's used, and everything else is d discarded. This place, they actually use the whole coffee fruit. So they don't just discard the outer part. Yeah. They use the outer part to make um, like a jam preserve, mm -hmm. which is delicious. Um, and they use it to make a coffee wine, oh, wow. which is great. So I brought back some of that as well. We haven't opened it up as yet. <laughs> so yeah, we did that. It, let me tell you guys, the ride going up there, the coffee plantation is up in the mountains. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll Are probably nervous? say like a little, like 2,000 feet elevation, wow. really high up. My friend Christina did the drive. We went at like, we left at like six in the morning because our tour was scheduled for 8 a.m. And the plantation is like an hour and a half from where we were staying. Mm -hmm. We stayed in Jaco, um, Costa Rica. So we left pretty early. Uh, my sister had been doing most of the driving, so mm -hmm. Christina decided to drive that day, and it was so stressful. Like, the winding roads, the roads are hella narrow. Like, you can't even see. That's done, baby. <laughs> you can't even see you. <laughs> who's coming around the corner. Um, you're going up a mountain uh -huh. with no guardrails on the side. Oh, my God. I mean, it was just, oh, it's so closed. stressful. Jeez, I took it the wrong one. <laughs> oh, it's not open? It's closed? <laughs> yeah. But she did great. But let me tell you, once she got to the top of that mountain, she just threw the keys and gave it to my sister. She was like, uh-uh. Are you serious? Yeah. But she was scared? No, not scared. It was just stressful. So she was like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this drive back down. Mm-mm. So that was an adventure, to say the least. And... Okay, I'm not having no luck with these sauces. No, I'm just kidding. What do you mean? <laughs> this won't come, come off. Here, you can yeah, finish this up. Oh. Yeah. Um, and then one of the days, my sister, my niece, and her best friend, mm -hmm. they went zip lining. Nice. Yeah. Christina and I, which is my best friend, we stayed back. Um, you didn't try it? No. Uh, We're not up for that. No, there needed to be two survivors in case something happened. <laughs> so they went ziplining. They had a great time. 
my sister had a little snafu with her zip line where I don't know what happened, but somehow her hand wound up in a place where it was not supposed to be on the mm -hmm. the zip line thing and it got caught between the the rope and the brake on the zip line. Could have lost her hand, but thankfully, you know, she came away unscathed, so nothing happened there, which is good. But a scary moment nonetheless. For sure. But yeah, guys, um, those are pretty much the most ex exciting things that happened. You know, like I said, we just chilled, relaxed. That's really all we did the entire time. Now, there. the main the question is, did you miss Ziggy? What do you think? I'm asking him. I'm, the people want to know, did you miss Ziggy? Of course, I miss uh, Ziggy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Still got it. <laughs> I did, but we spoke literally every night. Every night that we FaceTimed. So. That was good. But I would say, I would love to go back to Costa Rica. You see that she is leaving me again. Oh, stop it. To see the other side of the, the country. Because we were on one side. Um, and just be able to explore more, you know, and do a lot more things. Like mm -hmm. I said, there are things that I would have liked to do, but we didn't get to do because this was not that kind of trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, there are plans in the future. Of course. No doubt. No diggity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. I gotta this say, food is delicious. For my first time replicating mm -hmm. Costa Rican food, I did good. You did fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Our chicken is great. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to have you back mm -hmm. in my life on the channel. I know they're happy to have you back. Yeah. Thank you. Um. We, I had a trip coming up, one that we were both going to go on. Really? Oh, snap. Oh, did you include me? You know what I'm talking about. Um, one that we were both going to go on to Dubai. Um, That's going to be for October. But unfortunately, we've had to cancel that. Mm -hmm. um, I, we just didn't feel comfortable going that far, you know, go, going to the Middle East right now with... Yeah. The Delta variant on the rise and so many, you know, like they're bringing back mask mandates in places mm. and just so much heightened stuff going on, you know, with the COVID-19 right now. It's like it's really back on the rise. Yes. So if we do decide to go somewhere. It's probably going to be a little closer to home. Um, I don't know if he, he's going to be joining, but he was meant to to go with us to go with me to Dubai but we'll see which that's not gonna happen we'll probably do Dubai next year or something yes yeah, Dubai but, it's, it's gonna be there it's not gonna go away so yeah <laughs> so um we'll see what happens for our next trip whether where we go what we do no doubt no doubt <clears throat> for October or November yeah. guys you guys that have not seen the video before Check out these shirts, Ziggy Eats, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go get yourself one at, at. Embrace your roots on Instagram. Yeah, mine just came up my mind. <laughs> Embrace your roots. Mm -hmm. Check them out. Embrace your roots. You can get anything customized. Mm -hmm. That's my sister's company. That's right. <laughs> and she does um customized shirts and cups and hats and. Whatever you want. The whole nine yards. <laughs> Mainly you got it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being back. Thank you I'm for being happy part to family. be back. Really missed y'all. Mm -hmm. We're still eating. Yeah. <laughs> we're how, much, up. how good is this? Mm -hmm. So please comment down below. Let us know how happy you are that she's back. Let us know what you think of the meal. And then, then share with everyone and everyone. 
and we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Twenty million dollars. Twenty mil. House on the